Ubisoft is facing a significant strike by its employees in France scheduled for October 15, 17, 2024. The strike is a direct response to the company's recently implemented hybrid work model, which requires employees to be in the office three days per week. The French union Le Syndicat des Travailleurs et Travailleuses du Jeu Video STJV, representing video game industry workers, argues that this policy is harmful to employees, particularly after the company had previously supported more flexible remote work arrangements during the pandemic. The union has raised several key issues, including concerns over job losses, psychosocial risks, and inadequate pay increases despite the rising cost of living. Employees demand a formal remote work agreement, a salary increase, and improved social dialogue with the management. This strike has significant implications for Ubisoft, particularly for their highly anticipated games like Assassin's Creed Red and Beyond Good and Evil 2. Disruption in development schedules could delay these projects, impacting both release dates and the overall quality of the games. Ubisoft's leadership has acknowledged the challenges, with Marie-Sophie de Wobert, chief studios and portfolio officer, noting that the shift to a hybrid model might be difficult for some employees. However, Ubisoft has yet to make any concessions or adjustments to the new policy, leading to escalating tensions. As Ubisoft navigates through internal strife, gamers worldwide are left wondering how this will affect the development and launch of upcoming titles. Could this strike lead to delays, or will Ubisoft find a resolution that works for its employees and the future of its games? This situation is particularly critical as it reflects broader industry trends where many companies are reconsidering their remote work policies. It raises questions about the future of game development in a post-pandemic world where work-life balance and employee well-being are more important than ever. With major titles potentially at risk, Ubisoft's next steps could not only impact their upcoming releases, but also set a precedent for how other gaming companies manage similar issues. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story.